Well, I thought it was a great hockey game. Um, two teams battled, competed, um, you know, into late into the first overtime period, and um, you know, Boston University played really hard, and um, you know, and our, and our team played really hard. And I thought they they took the play to us a little bit in the first, and I thought somewhere around the second play, we got going a, little bit, a lot more and uh, carried the play. I thought towards the end of that second, and I, and I liked our third period, and. And then over time, there were chances on both ends. It was it was a hard-fought game, and and congratulations to BU and Coach O'Connell and and their their players because you know this game could have gone either way. And obviously thrilled that you know that we found the game winner. And the gentleman to my left made a great play and um, came off of a, a goalie forecheck. And you know one of our players came off the off the wall off the bench on a change and went right to the spot and. I uh, was able to collect the puck and then get it over to Zach and um, and then get, get the game winner. So uh, thrilled we're we're in the championship uh, game tomorrow. That's where we want to be. Um, you know, for for this group of of uh, s uh, this team, they just broke the university record for all time wins in a season at 26, and there was two teams that held that before uh, at 25. So I think we just lost something. There we go. Um, so thrilled for to to get that win. But you know, I think the uh, biggest win is 27 and. Uh, we'll get ready for that to, uh, tomorrow night, depending on who we play, and, and come out here and battle and compete again. Thanks, Coach. We'll take questions for Zach. Uh, again, just raise your hand. We'll get you a mic and state your name uh, before jumping in. Hi, Zach. I'm, I'm Mary Rosad from WEBN Sports. First of all, I would like to say congratulations on your incredible game-winning play, breaking the franchise record for most wins in a season. How are you going to keep that energy for win number 27, be it against BC or UMass? Yeah, you know, it, exactly. Uh, we've had a lot of momentum right now. That was a huge team win. I'm um, really proud of the guys and how we came out and really responded after the first. And uh, we're going to take it right into tomorrow night, hopefully another win. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Zach. Jim Conley from U.S. College Hockey Online. Last year, you started out pretty hot, but there was a lot of offense on that team. This year, you, you now I think somebody just said that you tied a – record for game-winning goals in Northeastern history. Just talk about what you've meant offensively to this team and how the puck has kind of come your way a lot this year. Yeah, you know, um, that's a good point. You brought up the guys from last year and obviously really good players, really smart players. But off the ice, they, they help uh, everyone, uh, especially me. Uh, they, they really helped me kind of get acclimated to the college game. And um, this season, I've kind of just tried to shoot more, put myself in positions that they put themselves in last year and just try to capitalize on them. And you're right, Zach just tied for the all for during for a season five game winning goals, which is he's, a, he's someone who's who's answered the bell in the in the big times for us. So we're 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 grateful, obviously, for that. Thank you, Jim. Uh, John Powers, Boston Globe. Uh, three of your four games with BU this year went to overtime. Uh, how much more difficult because they ran the table last year when they had to. How more difficult is it to beat them when they, you know, and they know that their season's over if you beat them? Yeah, and you're right, John. All all the games were close, and it, they're hard to beat at any point, <laughs> you know. And if you look at the ledger, they've they've won a lot more than they've lost against us, and um, so. You know, we beat them in the, in overtime in this building in the bean pot, so we knew that there was a little bit of incentive there for them. And then, of course, the fact that you know, if they win, they they advance to the championship game with an opportunity to go to the tournament. So, um, so there's more incentive there. There's maybe more urgency, desperation, whatever word you want to use. But they're just they're a real good hockey club, and um, they don't need any more incentive to play better. But it, I'm sure it was there. But they're just hard to play regardless of the situation. But we knew that, um, and for us. Us, it was trying, even though we're we're in the NCAA tournament. For us, it's about winning a championship. So there's urgency for us. Um, you know, this is the best. You know, we pride ourselves in this being the best league in college hockey, and we can debate that one way each year. But hey, it's a hard league, and you know, it's important for us to to win this championship. Anything else for Zach? All right, Zach, can you head back to the locker room? Thank you. Thank you. Congrats, big guy. Thanks. Take other questions for Coach now. Thank you, Jim. Jim Collins from U.S. College Hockey Online. How can you describe what the third period in overtime has become for your team this year? I, I think you're leading the nation in uh, late game goals, I guess you'd call them. But it, th th there doesn't seem to be a see you later, we're done type of mentality at all. Yeah, I wish we can take that third period and apply it to the first period uh, also. But you know, we talked about in between second and third, it, it was 
down by a goal and said, hey, this is our period. This is where, you know, we've come, we've, we've excelled in that third period. So there's a confidence level, there's a comfort level entering the third period. I think the urgency meter goes up an awful lot. And it's because we have confidence because we've, we've done it a lot this year. And so be, when you do something, you gain confidence. And, and certainly, you know, we answered the bell within, what, 16 seconds of that, third, of that third period. And we knew we had to get to the net a lot more. We weren't penetrating to the net. And that play, you know, Matty Philippe made a great play coming off the wall, coming off the wing, went to the net, stopped so we didn't have any goal interference. And then, you know, Tyler Mann was coming down on it and, you know, put it in. So, um, but there's just confidence and there's a, a quietness of, of confidence to as we get ready for the third period whether we're down a goal whether it's even that we're gonna we're gonna have success in that third period Chris Belay from College Hockey News Jim congrats what's your, um, been your opinion of Caden's um, second half he had a fantastic game tonight and he's been absolutely on fire during the second half of the year he, he was solid during the first half but what's been the what's been the change in your mind well, thank you for for, for that. Um, he, and to your point, he's been very good all all year long. And I've answered this question a lot lately. But from the second half of the season, coming back after the World Junior experience, I think he's just elevated his game. And I think that World Junior experience gave him uh, I don't know. He's a confident young man, anyways. But that extra confidence this season, you know, he played against the best players at his age group, um, eighteen to twenty in the world. And he's just taken the ball and has run with it. And he's in a real good zone. He's seeing it well. He's tracking it real well. Um, you know, he always worked hard. He always competes in battles. And um, and so he's in a good zone. And he's got and he's got a lot of talent. And so, you know, it, it, what it does is it manifests manifests itself into what we're seeing here, and that he's playing lights out and giving us a chance to win every single night. And you know, I think it's been one goal that he's been given up the last few games. And, you know, you know, our goal is if we can get to three, we want to, you know, we feel good about our team. Um, you know, with him, it's, you know, lately it's been if we get to two and, and it's worked out. You know, whoever played him more, I think we're going to have to get to three. Coach Mike Pusengar, Huntington News. Uh, the last two games against Maine, your team was outshot. Um, tonight, that obviously wasn't the case. Uh, what was the difference tonight that led you to lead in the shot margin? I thought after the first period, we, we pursued pucks a lot better. And we hunted pucks, and we stayed on it, sustained the forecheck. And then when you do that, you're spending a lot less time in your own zone. So um, we just tried to stay on it, stay on it. And then uh, and if we forced turnovers, if we couldn't force them in the offensive zone, if we forced them in, in the defense, excuse me, in the neutral zone, then we can transition pucks and then you know get it back down low and uh, into the offensive zone. Thus, you're just spending a lot less time in our, in our D zone. And then you know the shots against are going to be less. It's an easy formula. It's just hard to execute all the time. 